She's sleeping? It's my mom, and she, she's, um... Well, she's supposed to be getting out. At least that tells me that she's still there. No, if she's... You sure she's sleep? She says she doesn't go to bed till 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. Then no. You don't need to wake her up. Basically, it's not important, and you answer me because now I know she hasn't left yet. I'll call tomorrow. Okay, I'll call tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. What do you know? I'm not going to listen to you. I told you she's there anyway. We have answered, but yeah, you don't know. I'm not going to listen to you. I'm like, she's going to let her leave. Yeah. As far as I know, it's in the works. Like I said, when you're dealing with mental health, whatever, I mean, it can change in a heartbeat. I'm so glad you guys can't see over there this filthy room when I'm drinking. Um, I, luckily, I eat most of them because they're, they're relatively expensive. I mean, not really, but, you know, because I order them off a of Vitacost. Still, I don't want to waste it, and they all spilled out in my bag, but I think I'd eaten most of them. And then, I think I'd forgotten they spilled out of my bag, and, the, and make a long story short, they wound up on the bed, and on the floor. I think when I was looking for something or whatnot today. In any case, I'm glad you can't see the awful mess over there. I just got back from grocery shopping. I'm going to be watching The Voyage. I didn't get to see it last Tuesday when they sent them three people, but I just found out from my roommate. Um, I'm kind of shocked. Not that she was a bad singer by any means, but... I'm shocked that the... I forget her name... I think he forgets her name, too, because he just says the blonde one, the lesbian one, but whatever. She's a fantastic singer, but you have to admit, she never wowed anybody enough for them to stand up or give standing ovations or say what they said about Audra. Well, that just puts you in the finals. I could see you going all the way to the top and winning this thing or whatever. You know what I mean? <clears throat> that, sh that I'm in shock that Audra went left last week. According to him, that's what he said. He told me who was left. Um, he didn't like how they performed last night. I didn't get to see it. I was not around. I was <laughs> feeding mice in train stations, waiting for the bus. That I had to wait an hour for because I was stupid enough to think those trains don't wait for anybody. You think you have time to run down a little bit so you can get closer to where you want to be when you get off and then you're close to the stairs? No. The door is closed on me and I only was going like a, a couple cars up. It was taking a split second and I wasn't, I was down there right when it arrived. It, it left like that. They don't wait. I thought, I don't know if they have a set time to wait, but I've seen them pay attention and wait before and even open the doors when someone's standing there. I didn't run at the last minute. I was already there. I was just trying to go down a little farther down the line in the cars and never do that again. From now on, I get on the very first open door I see because I had to wait another 15 minutes. And that 15 minutes was irrelevant except as it pertained to when I would arrive where at my destination where I had to catch a bus. That... I missed within a minute or two, and then I had to wait a whole other hour. Unbelievable. And had I not, like I said, live and learn, I won't do it again. But I was drinking. 
I've been drinking. I drank a whole pint of Svedka vodka. And then, when that was gone, I bought a, um, a Colt 45 Blast Fruit Punch. Um, and gushed to the guy. I'm like, do you have a limit of what you, what you have to spend to use a credit card? He's like, no. I'm like, wow, you're the only one. I asked like four the other day and they all had a limit. One even of seven bucks. He's like, yeah, no, we don't. And goes home. And you're selling this cheaper. And you're selling the Four Locos cheaper a little bit than the other places. So I think you'll be my go-to place if I'm in this area. But... I don't plan to be in that area very often, so um, I'm definitely not drinking, so it's kind of moving. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> anyway, she's, they're all fantastic singers, but she never, she was just, but it's a popularity contest too, it's whatever the American public wants. She never blew me away, I can't remember her damn name. She was just consistently good, but never like, oh, wow, that was fantastic, like the moments I had with Audra and like the judges had with Audra, you know? Or with Shisandra, I was just shocked. Not really shocked by Delvin, but Shisandra and Audra went home? Yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked, but whatever. And so I didn't watch it last night. I didn't, I watched them sing last Monday, but then Tuesday I was on my way to mail my mom, mom's thing, you know, because I wanted it to get to her, you know what I mean? So before she left, and now I wonder if she got bad news. I'm surprised she's napping. She was telling us, but like I said, she can change from day to day. I will try her early tomorrow. Because she said she... She said she, um... You know, was sleeping good, like going to bed at 10 and getting up at 7. So, if she's napping, she may have... Who knows? She may have had a relapse. I don't know. All I know is things change from day to day because she sounded wonderful when she was in there and then two days later she was horrible and I was, she didn't even want to talk to me. Um, she's supposed to go in some respite, some respite somewhere. She thinks she can only go into one, but I talked to Cheryl and she's like, no, it's wherever. We'd prefer her to go to that one, but you know what? She has to take what she can get. At least she's out and it'll be, she won't be in there for very long, you know? But, no, I mean, come on. She's been in these hospitals this time. You know, it's been over three months now. I'm sure she's going to be disappointed at this. You know, at any disappointment, it's going to devastate her. Even if it says she can't go to the respite she wanted to go in, you know. I don't know. Oh, the voice is going to be on. I definitely, the voice is only on an hour though. I gotta clean up this mess. You're like, you always say that, Laura, and you don't do it. No, I do it, I just do it slowly. But I definitely have to clean it up because I'm not going to have sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds on my floor. It's going to attract bugs. I, I hate bugs more than I hate cleaning. So. I don't even hate cleaning. I, I hate, I don't know. I can clean other places in the house, but my room, it's hard to keep clean. It's almost like closed anyway. Oh, this is what I was going to tell my mom, but I'll tell her tomorrow. I'll tell you now. The bunnies had babies. We're walking, and, you know, I'm wearing my sunglasses. And plus, it's going to be, it's not, it's not real sunny out now. It's starting, we went for a walk at 6.35, you know, so it's not going to be light out for too much longer. 
the sun's already going away a little bit, so I'm, I'm thinking it might, I didn't know if it was a rat. Cause, so I took my sunglasses off, and I'm like, oh my, they're babies, little babies, the bunnies had babies. Little baby bunnies. Now we're gonna have, and you know, babies. Baby bunnies. I mean, rabbits have a lot of babies, so I only saw two babies, but there's probably more hidden somewhere. They're all in the same yard. We saw the big bunnies. We saw two babies. Then we walked further, farther down, a little bit farther down, and in front of a house, I'm looking, and the rabbit, it looked like a statue. I'm like, is that real, Omar? And, and, and I'm like, no, it can't be. It's not even moving. That looks just like a statue. That's got to be a statue. And then I'm like, no, it can't be a statue, Laura. But in the end, it wasn't a statue. It it was, it it was, blew me away. It it ran it ran away when I walked by, and I was like, wow. <laughs> oh yeah, the bunnies had babies. So there's gonna be even more bunnies around. They're probably gonna take over the neighborhood. I don't know. And the bunnies have more bu babies, and there's gonna be lots of bunnies everywhere. They were tiny, tiny, tiny little things. I didn't know that it was a wrap. Although I get excited about any little animal I see, it's like chipmunks. Um, even if it was a rat, I'd be like, oh my, look, it's a rat. Bunny said, babies, huh, Omar? Omar and, and my roommate's dog both had a nice, nice, generous, you know, not too much, but, it, you know, I made today, let's see, two pounds of broccoli. How much carrots was there? I made a lot of vegetables. I made two big, big bags, put them together, but they're going to last. I'm going to put them in containers and they'll last, you know. But I gave them both a nice, you know, generous, but not too much portion of, of vegetables, broccoli, and carrots. See, I share with my roommate's dog. I cleaned up his pen today. I've been keeping up on with that. But it's give and take because my roommate took me to the grocery store, you know. I don't offer him gas money because he's the type he wouldn't take it. I know he wouldn't take it. And the thing is, I make up for it in other ways. By, like last time we went to the grocery store, I bought six um, things of dish detergent. See? So he uses the dish detergent too. I stock us up on paper towels and toilet paper and dish detergent. And, and, and you know, that kind of stuff. So. Um, I do stuff like that, and I take care of his dog, you know, so I, I, I make up for the vet, you know. Um, and I really don't ask him to take me that often, I stock up on stuff, you know. I stock up on stuff, so... That's another reason I don't have from cash money. I just, we don't have that kind of relationship. I think, I just, I don't think, I, I would not have from gas money. I don't think he would take it. And he, he said before, you know, I'll, I don't mind taking the store. I'll take you wherever you want to go. I'm not going to ask for from gas money. If I was asking someone to take me to work every day, you know, like take me somewhere every single day. Then I definitely would offer gas money, but I don't need to go to any other kind of stores anymore, like Target and Walmart and all that crap, so. And I actually, in my travels of getting the stuff from my mom and doing the mail and stuff, and I, I went to Walmart, you know, in a different, a different location, so. And I bought socks, you know, so. You just have to trust me on this one. I, I think 
he and I are friends. I think he, I don't, I'm not going to offer him gas money. But I buy other stuff to make up for not offering him gas money. You know what I mean? And he knows I do. He knows I buy other stuff. He knows I stock us up on stuff that, you know, normally we'd be splitting the cost of. And yeah, I do pay a lot less rent, but that not, has nothing to do with anything. That's irrelevant because that is what he asked for rent, you know. He wasn't trying to find a roommate. He said people can afford that, but I don't know. He cared more about finding someone he could get along with and would get along with his dog and whatnot than, you know, someone who would pay half, half rent. You know. Because if he tried, I'm sure he would find somebody who could pay half rent. Um, that's not, he doesn't care about that. He wants, you know what I mean? I know what he wants. He doesn't care about someone paying half rent because he probably could get somebody if he tried. His last roommate didn't. Because when he told me what it cost, I'm like, oh, I couldn't pay that half. He's like, yeah, most people can't. You know? And according to his friend, who, a female friend who I talked to before I would even come here because I was very leery about you know, moving in with a guy. Um, she told me for a while he was trying to swing it on his own and, and not even having a roommate. So obviously he had difficulty finding a roommate because it's easy. Lots of people looking for places. You have to find someone you trust. See, I've read ads on Craigslist before where people, guys, the guy said, you know what, I don't want to break the bank of my roommate. I'm more interested in being happy when I come home because he had a house. He's like, I'm more interested in being happy when I come home than, you know, having a roommate so it, we can work it out. We can see what you can pay. I'd rather have some, I'd rather not be miserable when I come home from work than have extra money, have a roommate, have someone who can pay exactly what, you know. That's why he didn't list what, he, what the amount he was going to charge. Because this particular guy, you know, he was more interested in finding someone that he could usually get along with and whatnot. So that makes sense. Oh, boy, it's not going to go. Mmm. So, I have voluntarily, you know, bought extra things, you know, and that was because I know that I'm paying a lot less rent, rent and expenses, you know, than he, he is. And it also, you know, he also takes me places to the grocery store and whatnot, you know. But we also, like, he and he got stuff today at the store, too. You know, this is his store that he goes to anyway, so. so. It's all good. It's all good. And the store is just down the street. A couple, you know. <laughs> Just trust me on this one. I don't, I, some people, I don't think, I'm not going to offer him gas money. I know he wouldn't take it, and us, I just, I don't know, I just, and it's not because I can't afford it, I just, I feel uncomfortable offering him gas money because he's such a cool fucking guy, and it was, it would almost be like an insult, you know. He told me, I'll take you anywhere, you know, I don't mind taking this store, take you whenever you want to go, and, but I don't take advantage of that. I really don't. A couple times when he wasn't around, more than a couple times. How many times have I walked to the store just down the street to get water? Carried one gallon in each of my hands. Mm. So, that's cool. I don't know how long I'll be staying here because. Truth be told, I really should, of course, that could take years, but then sometimes it doesn't take years, it's, it's a crapshoot, but then if you don't want to, I don't want to live in any kind of bad section of anywhere, so, and I have a dog, so, to get on Section 8, but Section 8 would be a much better thing for me, because it only takes a third of your income, you know? I'd only, I'd be paying a little more than half of what I'm paying here, you know. So, 
One of my friends told me, you know, you really you don't know what's going to happen with him. You never know about life. He could decide to leave and be with his girlfriend full time or move him. You never just never know, Larry. You gotta, you know, because I tend to, as you guys know, I don't. I tend to like not think about the future. I kind of just live day to day. But I think it would behoove me to start looking into Section Eight. Um, at least fill out the application. At least do the paper. <laughs> So, I will call my mama tomorrow, first thing, not first thing, you know, not, not right when she gets up, I'm, I'll probably, I'll, you know, I'll maybe call her at 10 a.m. or something, find out how she's doing. I'm not rushing to watch it because it's simply the eliminations and I kind of watched it this whole season and then I just circumstances I couldn't watch it last night and he's like he didn't miss anything but you know just because he didn't like it doesn't mean I wouldn't I wonder if I can watch it online that I don't know either and then Last Tuesday, there's just, I had to miss it. I had, my top priority was getting that thing mailed out to my mama. Of course, wound up not getting there in time anyway. So that was kind of ridiculous. And then I wound up going again on Wednesday. During class Tuesday and Wednesday, did I? I think so. Maybe I did. God, I can't remember. I wrote it down in my heart and I had to have or I can figure it out. I probably talked about it in a bit. Oh, sorry. Hmm. 